29. Use the standard entropy data in Appendix G to determine the change in entropy for each of the following reactions. All the processes occur at the standard conditions and at 25 degrees Celsius. Cool. So here we go with our balanced equation here. We got Fe2O3 solid plus three CO gases plus two Fe solid plus three CO2 gas. In this case, we want to find out that change in entropy. Keep in mind that change in entropy is a delta S, right? That triangle delta, that means change, final minus initial. Entropy is always an S variable. And remember that entropy is talking about the randomness or the chaos or the disorder of the system. So as we're going from reactants to products, do we get more random or do we get less random? Well, let's figure it out. Since we're using the standard values in the back of a textbook, in this case it's Appendix G, could be a different appendix value for your textbook, but it's roughly the same numbers. Since we're using standard values, we're solving for a delta S notch. We call that little degree sign at the top a notch. So delta S notch just means that we can use, or we have to use, the values in the back of a textbook. So that's what I did. I went to the back of the textbook to find out the entropy values for each individual component. So for Fe2O3, you have 87.40 joules per mole times Kelvin. Carbon monoxide, 197.7. Just iron by itself is 27.3. And for carbon dioxide gas, 213.8 joules per mole times Kelvin. Now, what are we going to do with these values? Well, it's this simple formula right here. It's the change in entropy for the whole entire reaction, Rxn is reaction, is equal to the sum. So sum means addition. So it's the sum of all the products minus the sum of all the reactants. So basically, in essence, it's always products minus reactants, products minus reactants. Now, are these values going to be the same or are they going to be different? Well, this goes by your balanced equation. You always follow what the balanced equation tells you. So for example, since you only had, you know, you didn't have a value in front of Fe203, technically there was one here, so you have only one mole. So I would multiply this value by one. But that's going to be the same exact value, right? 87.40 times 1 is 87.40. Coming over to carbon monoxide, CO, there's 3 here. So that means that I have to multiply this value by 3. I have 2 irons, so I have to times the 27.3 by 2. And the 3 with the CO2, I times it by 3. Now, we have to sum them all up, which means addition. Literally, in the balance equation, it said Fe2O3 plus CO. So this value plus this value. And the same thing for the product side, Fe plus CO2. So this value plus this value. Let's go to the calci to find out the answer. So I'm going to do the reactants first. So I got 197.7. I'm going to times that by 3. And then I'm going to add that to the 87.4, right? You could put 404, same thing. So the reactant side is 680.5. Let's do the same thing for the product side. So 27.3 times that by 2 plus we could do 3 times 213.8. Okay, and this one I get 696. Products minus reactants. So let's go for it. Delta S for the whole entire reaction would be the product value, which we got was 696. And technically, it would be 696.0 if we did follow our sig figs. So maybe I'll just put that in there. 696.0 minus our reactants, which is 680.5. Delta S for the whole entire reaction equals, calc time again, I'm going to grab this value, 696, minus, I'm going to grab the 680.5, and I get a positive value, 15, 
15.5, and the units for a delta S is joule per Kelvin, because these numbers that you multiplied are all moles. So if you have mole in the numerator and mole in the denominator, they cancel out. So your delta S is always just going to be joules per Kelvin. And there you go. Since it's positive, we know that we're increasing in entropy. We're increasing in randomness. And that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. If you want to help us out, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the subscribe. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Thank you. And I will be talking to you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. Bye-bye.